everyone, this is Phoenix, and after a long absence, I'm back playing Farming Simulator 15, uh, just reacquainting myself with the game uh, in preparation for when Farming Simulator 17 is released in about a week or two, which I have pre-ordered. Um, as you can see, I've got no save game files at all. Uh, the reason being, I actually had to reinstall my boot drive, uh, which had all the Farming Simulator data on it, uh, corrupted, and I've recently installed a new one. So. I've probably spent uh, about 20 minutes just going through the game, uh, adjust, adjusting some settings uh, like graphics and sounds just to get it all back to how I had it. It's, it's not all as I had it yet, but uh, we're getting there. There's a few keybinds that I'm sure I'm going to run into well, actually, while I reacquaint myself, but that I did change and are not they used worse. So, yeah, we're going to get into it. So, we're going to start off in save game, new save game, normal game. We're actually going to play Ringwood's map by Stevie. Um, I've had a lot of fun playing on Stevie's maps in the past, so this is what we're going to play on. Uh, it's a map based on Westbridge Hills, which is one of my favourite maps. Um, well, I like the American style. Uh, there is a lot of mods installed on this. As you can see, it actually makes reference. There's a lot, uh, many mods installed by the best mod makers around. Uh, there is so much to do in this map. I'm not going to do a dr uh, drive around. We're just going to get to it as we go. Um, what I'll do is I'll put a copy of the link down the bottom, um, in the comments section, which, uh, which you can go and view, and it'll give you details on all the mods. We'll eventually see everything um, as we go, but, uh, but yeah, so let's get into it. Um, now we start out here in the main farm. Now, very much like Westbridge Hills, this is this is actually what the, uh, the main farm used to be, the, new, the original starting zone. As you can see, it is very different. Um, now, if I bring up the fields, you can see they're in the center. That's the main farm. All we have here is chickens and grain tip point. So it's just centralized uh, up north uh, near field three or in between field three and the baseball uh, field. Um, you've got pigs, uh, fattened chickens, and another grain tip point. To the right of field three is where the greenhouses and the orchids are. Um, down south, uh, North of field 20 and to the left of field 21, you have the original cow section. The sheep has been moved to that area. Uh, and there's also uh, the beef mod is installed for that one there. Uh, you can see the BGA has been moved. It's over north of field 13 on the left of the screen. And I believe, uh, it's been a while since I've played, but I know a lot of the cell points have been moved. Uh, for example, the flour mill, I believe, used to be the... Tra uh, have a train there or a train yard so that has changed quite a bit the old section where the sheep used to be is just a grass field so it's a good good uh, good field where we're going to um, get some free grass from or a meadow i should say as you can see the fields are all square um i believe that is to make it very easy for course play i've only driven around a few on this map when i was trying to have a look where things are um so yeah we're going to get into it now i'll show you the garage we start with it's quite a lot. Um, we got one, two, three, there's six tractors, seven tractors. So, so it was seven tractors and a very small combine. I don't really know why this is the combine we start with with some of these um, big tractors here, but that's what we've been given. Uh, we've got a couple of trailers there, big trailers. Um, I think a couple of cultivators, a plow, uh, two seed uh, sewing machines. Very cheap mower which I don't even like using so we're definitely not using that. Uh, yep, yeah, one trailer there. The tether, the windrow, fertilizer. Uh, we've got the pickup and uh, some forestry gear here. Uh, water tank and then a few um, passive income buildings. Now I'm going to get rid of all of this and start with a fresh uh, vehicle list. Um, so we'll start with nothing. We're going to start with some cash. I haven't worked out what I'm going to start with yet. Uh, but we're going to buy some equipment and, uh, and just build the farm up because I don't want to start with all this and just come in and manage what we have. I want to actually buy the equipment and as we go. And I don't like these buildings here. Now, you can also see that we own three field, uh, sorry, four fields. Field three up the north, um, 19, 14, and 16 to the south part of the map. Now, if I push that button there, you get... You can see what they're planted with. Um, we've got barley up top, wheat on field 16, and we've got potatoes on 14 and corn on 15. 
Now I'm going to change that so that we only start with field 16. It is going to be ready to harvest, um, but that is it. I'm actually going to get rid of the crops in the other two fields, I think I can, um, and we're not going to own them. Uh, the only thing that we're going to start with is a couple of tractors, a combine, and a central farm, I think. Um, and just field 16 and then we'll, we'll go from there. So I'm going to say with a bit of cash, but not all the fields, so that we do actually have to go to work. Um, and we're not going to have any animals to start with. Uh, we'll slowly get to that as we go. So I'm just going to go and do that off screen. And I will, uh, and we'll be back shortly, guys. Cheers. Okay, so I've uh, edited the game file. Uh, I've got rid of the other three fields. We're only going to keep field 16, which is already re ready to harvest. Um, and I've got rid of all of the equipment. I've edited the game file and we started with a million and a half. Okay, no loan, just uh, basically we've had enough cash to buy three uh, farm bases or three um, homesteads or some sort. Uh, and one field. Uh, we've had a million and a half left over in the as far as uh, reality goes, and we've gone shopping. So we've gone with a big combine. We've, we've uh, bought for the future. We've uh, gone with the New Holland, as you can see there, with the 45-foot uh, header on top of it. Uh, reason being, high capacity, and it's got the horsepower. Now, I'm not sure how many people have played Westbridge Hills, but it does have some big hills. Uh, so, yeah, the extra horsepower is good. Um, and I, I do like the, uh, the New Holland be honest um we've gone with the big body uh tipper uh the reason for that well, it's, it's big um and also we've gone with the homer i've i've sort of bought this dlc and then never played um fs15 so i haven't really had a chance to use these uh, new equipment new bits of equipment excuse me um i've had a little bit of a drive around just before and i've found that it actually is the same as uh, most tractors. It can hook onto anything and utilize them as far as uh, equipment. So we can use this. We're going to use synthetic seed, uh, sorry, fertilizer for the time being. Eventually, I want to have enough uh, manure and slurry that we will be all natural. But for the time being, we've got no cows, so it's a bit hard. So we're going to use synthetic for the time being. Uh, we've gone with the small sewing machine, nine meter uh, Pronto. We might upgrade that later with a mod. When we get more fields, but for the time being, this is all we require. Uh, and sorry, I'm back to why we bought the big body. A lot of um, augers don't like going into the big body or um, even the combines from memory, but the Holmer auger does. And the reason we've gone with the Holmer, very versatile as far as tractor. It uh, will have it's got its own auger attachment there uh, to act as a chaser, um, and we can utilize a lot of others. Uh, for example, where are we here? Beet harvesting. Uh, no, that's not what I want. Uh, auger wagons. There, so there's also a sugar beet auger. Um, and there is also slurry attachment. So we can put the uh, slurry and a cultivator on there. Not that we really care about the 6 meter cultivator. Because um, one we've got, does uh, the sewing machine we have doesn't require it. But yeah, we'll go with that for the slurry. Uh, future uh, it also has um i believe it's got a manure spreader as well uh yes so it's got a manure spreader which we will we'll probably utilize more than the slurry um providing we have the manure it's also got a 20 meter working width which i believe is bigger than all the others uh yes it is so it's gonna empty very quickly seeing it only holds twenty thousand or just under twenty thousand so we'll see how that goes um but yeah, so it's a very versatile piece of equipment. Uh, so that's what we've gone with. We've also gone with the big baler because uh, we're going to do get some straw um, bales going straight up from the get-go or off the first field, I should say, um, and start getting ready. We've, we've still got just under 400k. Um, I think once we sell the grain that we're about to harvest, uh, from memory, no field starts fertilised, so it's going to be a very poor harvest for the first field. Um once we get that going, we'll get the bales going, and I will probably rent or buy uh, some mowing equipment uh, because we can't use the Holmer for the uh, the mowers. Um, or we can, but not how we want to do it. Um, and yeah, so let's get into it. 
um, I've already reset the equipment, so it's here in the main field, uh, sorry, in the main main farm. Um, as you can see, can't get. I actually want the header there, and I can't get to it. Um, so we're just. I'm going to just spend some time just putting some of this gear away, and uh, and then we'll get into it. Okay, so we're back into it. Now, you'll see in a second, I'll show you once I hook onto this. They, you see I've put the, uh, oh, yep, the header's going to like that, yep. And um, you can see I've put the fertiliser and the baling machine in the, in that little shed there. I've dropped the sewing machine, you can't see it, but it's, you might be able to see it as we come past. Nah, it's over by the, oh, yes you can see, you can see the, co the rear of it. Over by the farm, because I didn't want to back it up. I've dropped the big, ba uh, the big body trailer there. And the homer is up here. So we're just going to come up here. And we're going to get into it. Um, now, interesting note, I can actually hook the big body on behind this with the auger on there. It just doesn't like turning very well. Um, it's uh, pretty much uh, jackknife, so. Which is uh, not the greatest. Uh, now. Okay. Uh, unfold. So we shot that. Okay. Uh, oh. Uh, hold that up. Said it's not what I wanted. I wanted there. All right. All right. I'm just getting uh, used to the controls again and the huge turning circle. And we're away. You can see there how it's filling up. Uh, how fast it's not really filling up and that is oh okay we're I know we're up um, and that is purely and simply because the field is not harvested so it's going to be a pretty poor yield um, and uh, yeah I'll come by with the big baler at some stage and pick this up and we'll get some bales going I don't think I'll just swore through the whole field oops miss that part Um, I'll probably only do maybe two runs. Um, oh. We might do the whole field. Why not? We can almost start doing that with the, uh, the Terra while it's doing it because if I hire a worker with this. Um... Let's get course play going with this. Not that I really remember course play that much. Um, minefield. No, that's not what I want. Um, Ah, uh, yes. Okay, now we got it. So we're on 16. Working with... We're going to bump that down. Oops. I'm just going to make it 13 metres. Just turn that off for the time being while I work this out. Started at the northeast. Southern corner was northeast. Heading south. Yes, we want to return to the first point. We're not going to do a headland, although I usually would. Um, what does that give me? And I want to show. Oh, that's better. 
Okay, yep, so it's, it's going to be a shocking second run, but that's all right. It's not right. Oh, it's northwest, sorry. Going south. Let's calculate. That's better. Alright. Just gonna go up here a little bit and oh, I didn't want to do that. That's alright, just have to remember that swath is there. Alright, so that's like that. Alright, so we'll leave that going and we will swap back to the Homer. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna detach that there. Go and get the big baler. By the time I do that, I probably nearly should empty the combine, but we'll just pick this up first. Just pull this here, we'll leave it up here for now. Okay. As you can see, the top speed on these babies is not huge, um, 42 kilometers an hour, but it's got good our only 250k to buy as well uh, which is good so it's sort of a cheap very versatile uh, addition now is it cool yes it is oops that's not what i wanted i wanted no, one Just trying to get my cruise control right there we go We'll just empty this and then we'll drop it again. It's pretty pretty close to empty, so we'll just leave this whoops. I'm not gonna leave it next to a tree, but we'll back up here. Very interesting that I can drop a full, that's funny. Those legs don't look all that um, sturdy, but So we've got this all set up. Just leave that there for the time being. Seems like I'm really wasting time doing this, but with the slow process that the, uh, the combine's going, I've got plenty of time to spare while I play around with the new toys. So let's just go and empty it again. And then I haven't actually tried out the auger system. I only know just from uh, what I've read that it goes over the big body, so I, I do want to actually try it out myself. interesting using the double wheel steer like that. I'm uh, not used to that. Most of the equipment I've used in the past was only single steer or, or rigid steer. Um, yeah, both axles steer on this. So. Um, what we may do is 
may end the episode shortly and I'll do some bailing in the next one. Just... Yeah, that'll do. Alright, let's go down. Whoops, better jump off the crop, otherwise you would destroy it normally. So we'll go down and we will empty the auger into the... Or use the auger system, I should say, off the... Uh, off the Holmer Terra variant. Inside, oh, inside's nice. That's kind of cool. Whoops, we're at the end of the field here. Yeah, vision's not all that great going down a hill, but the trailer's got to be here somewhere. So we'll pull out the pipe. It's quite good actually. It's very far away from the. Uh, oh, I'm actually going to overshoot it. Very far away from the trailer, and as you can see, the height is just perfect. Excellent. That's what it looks like inside. Oops. Um. Yeah, there we go. It's kind of cool. Yeah. I like that. Very good system. And that's all we've got. All right. So I'll put this away.